Chapter 8. Debt. It is amazing how casual many people are about what God says. For example, we read in Romans 13, 8, Owe no man anything but to love one another. This means that debt-free living should be the believer's way of life. Of course, at times necessity leads to debt, but we are not to go into long-term debt. Debts are to be for no more than a six-year span, Deuteronomy 15.1. Before World War II, in many parts of the United States, mortgages were for five years only. What would obedience to this law or commandment do? For one thing, together with a debased currency or money, long-term debt is the key cause of inflation. It means we are spending future income today, and we are paying a heavy rate of interest for it. Home buyers today are commonly paying $10 in interest for each dollar paid on the principal. Debt living is closely tied to covetousness, whereas we are told that godliness with contentment is great gain. 1 Timothy 6.6 6. Too many young couples are not content unless they start life with a better house and better furnishings than their parents ever had. We are to live, our Lord makes clear, by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4 4. God's every word has something to say about your use of money.